I just took my pathophysio midterm and I got an 87 out of 90. Welcome back to my channel. For those that are new here, my name is Andrea and I am a nursing student doing the accelerated BSN program at West Coast University. Today is Monday, February 27th, marking the first day of the sixth week of this term, meaning that last week being the fifth week was midterms week. Yesterday, I took my pathophysiology midterm and I got a 97.3%, putting me at an A plus for the midterm. I just took my pathophysio midterm and I got an 87 out of 90. Here is the list of all the things that I completed or used to study and prepare for the midterm. As you know from previous videos, we cover about four to five chapters a week and every week I take pretty in-depth chapter notes. I use my textbook, I read everything word for word, and I watch the lecture videos that the professor posts. I also utilize YouTube videos if I need further explanation on a subject, and all of those things are what consists of my actual chapter notes. So the midterm consisted of everything from week one all the way up to week four. Thankfully, we had no new material to cover um, for week five, so I just completely focused on reviewing everything. It was a 17 chapter accumulative exam. Yeah. So after I finished the note taking process, I proceed to making flashcards. I use Quizlet and Anki. I use Quizlet religiously, but I have recently transitioned into using Anki. I think from now on, I am gonna abandon Quizlet. I do love it, I think it's a great platform, but I really just prefer Anki now. It has so many cool little nicks and tricks that you can use to study to like completely personalize your flashcards. I'll put a link in the description of how to download and utilize Anki. It does take a while to learn how to completely understand the software, but once you know how to utilize everything, it's so great. So my notes and my flashcards are completed throughout the whole weeks leading up to the midterm. They're already there, I don't need to make them, I just use them to review. The only new things that I really did to prepare for the exam during the week was create little disease maps because there's so many diseases and we have to know you know the clinical manifestations the causes etiology pathogenesis as well as the treatment plants for all these diseases i think i covered over like 150 diseases and i noticed that structuring it like my traditional notes wasn't very beneficial because it just looked too close together. So I spent pretty much all of Monday and Tuesday creating these little disease maps. I first started out making the template, which consists of etiology, pathogenesis, treatment, and manifestations. Fortunately, our professor did not require us to remember the diagnoses. So I went ahead and created that on GoodNotes. I then save that as a separate template piece. I created a new folder for each week, copied and pasted the previous template that I made. I customized it and colored it to match my chapter notes. I have like a theme color for the week. For week four, as you can see, it is blue. Basically writing out the disease maps is really helpful because it's really great for memory as well. 
So it's sort of like killing two birds with one stone because when I finish then I can use it as like flashcards almost. I then went and combined all of my previous questions from the last four exams. Luckily we had access to those questions. I know a lot of programs don't allow that so sorry <laughs> but if your program allows it or your professor allows it then utilize it you know. So I basically copied all previous questions onto a separate doc. I also use those to sort of like test myself as well. Then lastly, I used the study guide. I use the study guide in two steps. First, I use it sort of as a study list, right? And I go over everything on that list and I find the materials from my notes. Once I've reviewed everything from the list on the study guide, I leave it alone and I don't touch it until the day of the exam. On the day of the exam, I paste the study guide onto a new document. Without using any notes, any Anki cards, any disease maps, I fill out everything that I know about the study guide. I highlight the questions or topics that sort of stumped me and I go back to my notes, to my materials and review that topic. And I do it again and again until I can complete a study guide without highlighting anything. So that was everything that I did to get the A on the midterm. I sort of jumble it up, work on week four Anki cards and then week four diseases and then review the week four exam and test myself. Um, and then move on to a next chapter. I think I went over each week about three times. Mind you, each week consisted of four to five chapters. Um, so I was putting about like eight hours a day of studying at least. Pretty much just practiced repetition and active recall all the way up until I had to take the exam. I know that everyone learns differently, but these are just what I did and what works best for me. <laughs> It just takes a little experimenting and trying out different methods to find what works best for you. Finally, this is sort of just like a last tiny tip. Putting in eight hours a day of studying is extremely difficult. So my tip is to romanticize studying. It works. Do what you can to put yourself in the mood. That can be going out to a cafe, putting on a candle, setting up your study space, enjoying the tiny details such as taking pretty notes, buying pretty colored highlighters, getting yourself a cup of coffee, um, being out in front of a window, anything to help you enjoy the moment. But hopefully some of my tips and tricks work out for you. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time.